developing tornadoes because this system was so dynamic and so strong, but so far only one confirmed tornado right there around Wayne that occurred with at least two or three storms that had tornado signatures and we had tornado warnings, but only one official tornado report so far. Let's check it out right now. Let's go over to McIntyre Law Chopper for Mason Dunn. Mason, you've got a view of the damage from the storms this morning. What's the latest? Well, you can see it's pretty uh, significant damage here northeast of the, uh, the, prop the town of Wayne proper. Uh, you can see a lot of damage to this house. The entire roof is ripped off. Debris flown has been thrown everywhere out here. The trees are damaged. Uh, I'm going to say definitely a tornado here. As we, you're looking at the house right there, that's actually, a, I believe, a swimming pool in the back that used to have a fence around it. And uh, so right now we don't know, uh, I don't know if anybody was home when this happened. I would imagine they were. It did happen at night. So you can see uh, a lot of people standing around uh, looking at all the debris out here. The debris is uh, the way I can kind of tell if it was a tornado. It's a, the debris is thrown in, in, in two different directions. Some of it is, if, is thrown to the north and some of it's thrown to the northeast here. As you can see, uh, quite a bit of damage here. We're going to turn around here, if we can pan to the right there, uh, Pusateri, and we'll show you what we believe. We're coming on around to the right here. We're going to look in this field here where the tornado went to the north and kind of to the northeast. If we are, we're panning on around here, and if we go to the right, keep going to the right, you can actually see, if we zoom in right there, if you look to the left of your screen, you can see where it picked up a hay bale, it appears, and threw it down right there and scattered it. But if you look in the middle of the screen, you can see a little trail going through the uh, field right there. I believe that is the trail of the tornado, the trail that was left behind as it crosses the road. Uh, right up here, there is a power pole down right where that trail crosses the road uh, right here, uh, northeast of the town of Wayne. So. I would say uh, definitely a, a tornado, maybe, I don't know how big it was, they'll, they'll figure it out, but you can see the path right there and the power pole down where the, where the path of the tornado went right across the road there, guys. Yeah, that's pretty incredible, Mason. That is just unbelievable, really. It sure looks like a tornado to me, and I was looking at all this stuff, you know, on the radar as it was actually occurring, the Doppler radar, it certainly looked like a tornado signature so you look at the signature on radar and then you look at what you're showing right now and yeah I would say there's a really good chance that that was a tornado and what do you think about the damage to some of those homes Mason I know you know you can't really estimate from where you are but you've seen a lot of damage I I'm saying probably a hundred miles per hour at least but I guess we'll find out it looked like it was pretty significant damage down there for sure uh, yeah, I would say that that house that we're showing you right right up there, uh, close to the road, took a direct hit. Uh, it's it's the most heavily damaged uh, piece of property that I've seen out here, and obviously it took a direct hit from this tornado. The tornado doesn't doesn't look like it was very wide, as you can see where we were showing you the path of the tornado going through the field and going across the road. It did hit a little grow farm across the road also, but. This is the uh, most significant damage here. Uh, of course, the weather people will come out and decide, you know, how big the tornado was. Obviously, it wasn't big wide, but it was, uh, you know, strong enough to do a lot of damage to this home, as you see out here on northeast of Wayne from McIntyre Law, Chapter 4. All right, Mason.